Hey guys, welcome to Little Mouse Advanced Weapon Tactics. And today we're going to be testing how lethal a buckler bash is. So uh, today we got the Medieval Archer's Buckler. And uh, it's about 11 inch diameter. And it's made out of steel. We've tested this before on Season 1 of Advanced Weapon Tactics. We shot it with a Pelagon, with a crossbow, and uh, no damage whatsoever. You know, a little bit of nicks to the metal. We even stabbed it with a sword. But this is very, very good shield. Um, the metal is nice and thick. You're not going to go through this. And uh, I know a lot of people think, well, you know, what a bu what's a buckler? What, what are you going to do with this dinky ass shield? But it's actually bo more mobile. You have a sword in one hand and you're able to block down the metal real quick. You can punch with it. So you can get some nice strikes with it. You know, this is almost, I would be more afraid of this than blast something that's getting punched with. You know what I mean? So we're going to see what a strike can do to our mini head. Little Mal presents Advanced Weapon Tactics, the weapons review show that tests the lethality and destruction of various cultural artillery. Will this week's weapon be powerful enough to destroy our new main heads? Find out now. Do not try this at home. Okay, so we're going to have a strike with the buckler against the tin can. I have no doubts in my mind this is just going to destroy it, but uh, give me count time, Matt. E. R. So. So yeah, because of the shape, it is circular, it is going to be pretty hard to do, but um, that's pretty nice damage. You're not going to cut it, you know, it is tin. What do you think the buckler bash will do to our Ming head, Matt? Oh, I definitely think it's going to do a lot of damage. This is a very, very durable and strong buckler. I love it. You know, you saw us test it before. It did astoundingly well, and I'm really excited to go ahead and bash this skill up. All right, so I'm gonna go for a downward strike on the main head, and uh, give me a count on that. E R so. Okay, so while there isn't any visible damage, we can actually feel that if, like, if you can see it indenting, that actually bludgeoned the skull and actually made a, a little tiny no that's no, not a breach it's not tiny it's quite a bit it yeah. starts from about here to past you know the this the beginning of the nose so from here to here it's a big gash here and it tapers down here but that is pretty powerful and it's just doing what i think it was i think you know i believe that this was actually able to crack a human skull you know striking a human with a uh, buckler so this is pretty powerful and uh wow how did that strike go there matt very very well you can't really see it too much i apologize for that but i assure you there is a ton of damage in there that guy is done although we weren't able to actually break our silicone but this guy is still done yeah it's a huge gash yeah. It's about the size of a t small apple, and it's just in there. That is a 100% a kill. The front part of the face seems to be intact. Uh, you know, it's not really able to pierce the skin because it is a bludgeoning weapon, but, you know, this is more of a defensive weapon, and it's actually able to do that amount of damage. This is a kill. Um, I think the first shot, you know, that would have put him on his oh, ass. Yeah, definitely. E. R. Son. Okay, so it did manage to rip the bottom from the top, but that's not, you know, actually going to happen because you're going to have a neck here, um, but it's just all mush. What would you have to say, Matt? Yeah, although we were able to pierce the actual skin, the skull is just completely discombobulated. It's rubble in there. This guy is done. Yeah, why don't you take that out and let's see if we can see any recognizable parts. I mean, this is like powder. Yeah, this is this is done. That's the only recognizable part. <laughs> yeah, this was a whole face. I sculpted these really, really nicely. And this guy is 100% done. You know, it's not gonna be able to pierce the skin, but it is effective at defending yourself. And you know, it could be an effective offensive weapon as just as effective defense weapon. So neither me or little Mao are very, very strong. 
and we're able to get very impressive results with the medieval archer buckler. You know, you don't have to be super strong to get in there and get, you know, really significant damage with this weapon, with this defensive shield, rather. So yeah, like my brother said, you don't have to be strong, and this is kind of why um, brass knuckles are illegal in most in a couple states. It's because they're very, very powerful. Obviously, this is a buckler, so there's a lot more mass than a pair of brass knuckles. But, you know, you don't have to be strong, and you can put someone on their ass. This is just going to hurt. Even a light tap, you know, is going to hurt. This is, you know, pretty, pretty solid steel here, and you're not going to break this. And it is just an effective offensive weapon as it is a defensive weapon. This is kind of why I like a buckler versus a larger shield, because you can block, go for a quick jab, you know, very good, strike the skull, pop them when you need. It might be different if they're wearing armor or chain mail, but I think the buckler bash does serve well. And this medieval archer's buckler, you know, for 25 bucks, it's built very well. The only thing I have to say is the handle is not um, very, you know, soft. That's where I, why I wear gloves. But other than that, you know, it's built very well. This handle's not gonna go anywhere. It's not loose or anything. It's a very nice buckler. All right, guys, that concludes our Medieval Archer's Buckler review, and we tested the Buckler Bash today. We tested this in Season 1. Um, I'm sure you guys will see this in other episodes, but what would you have to say about anything we tested here, Matt? Definitely the Medieval Archer's Buckler definitely is capable of killing if you manage to get in close enough and actually get a hit off on someone's head. If it's hard enough, you're gonna give them hemorrhaging, you're gonna break up their skull, it's gonna do some major, major damage, and you really don't even have to be that strong to effectively use this as a weapon against another person. And it's also very durable, as you've seen in our previous tests. Yeah, it's also a very nice defense weapon. Any sword that you're gonna block with this is going to mess their sword up. So if you block a sword, you're going to be able to you know, defend very, very nicely. And uh, even maces, I don't think maces or war hammers, nothing's really gonna go through this. It's very, very effective. It might hurt your hand if you get hit with a mace or a sword, but um, you know, the versatility of this is very, very, you know, well, obviously you're not gonna be blocking arrows. You're not gonna be able to, you know, shoot an arrow away, but you will be able to defend yourself with this and use it as a weapon if necessary. So this is very good as a self-defense weapon and uh, we've seen it smash the skull today. And uh, you know, as always, we only use our weapons for self-defense. So, uh, but I'm very impressed with the Medieval Archer's Buckler, and you will see it in the future. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit us up with a like and also subscribe. It really helps out and it really does mean a lot to us. Uh, if you have suggestions for things that we should test out, if you also liked it and you just want to say, hey, thank you guys for making these videos and we really love them, then go ahead and write us out a comment. Adam reads, Little Mal reads all of the comments. And yeah, please also share our videos as well. Yeah, I uh, reply to all comments, so make sure you guys comment rate subscribe and uh you know thank you guys for watching i love making them and we need more subscribers guys we need to get above as many as we can so uh if you guys could subscribe it would help us out a lot i thank you we spend a lot of time and money making these videos so if you could just do subscribe it would it would mean the world to us you know uh so uh subscribe and we can put out better content for you guys so uh thank you guys for watching and you always be welcome here at little mouse advanced weapon tactics